Hi, this is Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to show you how to do some acrylic, deal with acrylic blanks. Um, if you know, this is from, from weeding. Um, if you know from my previous videos, I love doing the big acrylic signs for weddings because it looks so, so pretty. Um, so I saw this on Amazon. It is on my Amazon shop. Um, these acrylic blanks. Okay. They're so awesome. First of all, it is 30 acrylic blanks. They come with a keychain. They come with this little tassel, which originally I didn't think I wanted all this stuff. I really just wanted the acrylic blanks. There are 30 of them. So it's a set of 30 of each. Um, and it's basically 11 bucks. I, I don't, it's crazy. <laughs> so it's on Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop. It's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Um, and you'll see it under, I think, um, personalized um, items or something like that. Um, anyway, uh, I wanted to do these because I wanted to do a tennis ball. I thought it would be really cute. I messed around with this one. I'm gonna try to redo it with a different color. I don't like this gold, but I wanted to show you a few different things. I mean, these are great for, originally I was gonna make everybody one and then use them as gift tags as well. So it's gonna go on my Christmas present with their name and I don't even need to put my name because they'll remember as soon as they see it who gave them this gift. Um, so the, or you could, you know, put it on your purse. Um, anyway, I like them so much. And if you don't end up using the keychain, or you could put these down for like a dinner party or something. So two different looks. I'm gonna go for this again. I use acrylic paint here from Michaels. Um, these are the acrylic blanks. This is how it comes. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. What I like to do is I like to paint the back side and then put the vinyl on top. In this case, it's the tennis with the little, the white tennis um, like ball or whatever. So I put that down first in the back, then I painted and then I put this on. So it gives you a, like a 3D look and feel because it's not all from the back or from the front. You have, you know, the name up on top and then the paint in the back. I really, really like the look. And I love white. White looks so good. So I'm gonna show you one white one and then I'm gonna do the tennis one again and attempt that one. But, oh, here are the blanks. And they come like this, so you gotta peel off the little shell, the little thing, okay? And this is a two inch one. I think if I were to reorder, I might go with two and a half. I don't know, so I just did the Grinch bowl. So this is three inch. So I think three inch is too big, but I think a happy medium would be two and a half. Um, yeah, I think two is just kind of small. Like I had a hard time with doing the names and making sure that it's not too small for me to weed and cut. So here's the first one. Now, because we're just doing the name, we don't have to line it up so well, but we do have for Isaac, this is straight. So normally if I have a lot of text, I like to draw it out so that under the back side, I have the drawn version, so then I just line it up with the drawn version so everything is nice and straight. So if you need to see that, please look at my wedding video tutorial. It is, it's basically foolproof. You're gonna have it straight. You're also not gonna have any bubbles because you're not concentrating on making it straight. You're concentrating on applying it without bubbles and it comes out beautiful and it's a humongous sign. So if you can do that, then you can do any acrylic sign. Um, but on this one, we can line this up and we can make sure it's straight because we have all these grid marks. So if you need to do something straight, do that first before you paint so that you can see everything. So let's get, sorry, I'll be right back. I just realized I wanna use the Cricut transfer tape. So here it is, I'm just gonna cut off a piece. And you can reuse this. So I always save it. Let's do Isaac's first. So before I paint and before I forget, I wanna make sure that I line this up straight. So once you put it on, you wanna take this tool and you wanna make sure that it really does stick to your transfer tape. And I know we just peeled off these things, so it should be relatively clean, but I'm also going to just wipe it down with the rubbing alcohol. So where, um, where did my paper 
paper go? <laughs> I just did this. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna pull paper. All right, so just a little bit, and then I'm. All right, and then close this up because it's so valuable during the pandemic. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna clean that. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you burnish this really well so that it sticks to the transfer tape. And again, the transfer tape can be reused. When I pull this off, I always have the vinyl facing down, like the front facing down, and I wanna peel off the backing. So, and when I peel off the backing, I want to pull it back on itself so that the adhesive vinyl is not fighting to stay on the transfer tape. So I'm doing it like this. So this was easy peasy. All right. And then you want to hold it really straight. This is easy because it's single letters. Um, they're not connected. So you shouldn't have any issues with applying it. And I just realized, oh my gosh, this is like, it's not going to fit on here. Oh, I didn't cut this small enough. All right, so I'm just gonna lay it down though. Oh, I'm like really cutting it close. So I should have made this smaller. I don't know what I was thinking. I think mean, all my all my dimensions today have measurements have been really really off. Um, okay, so I'm gonna peel this off, and it fit. But I think we're gonna, he's gonna have an issue. It's gonna, it's gonna come off. So I will still do this one, but I'm thinking of doing this. Cause I still like this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and cut off the excess if I can. So that it's not sticking on the side. And that way it has nothing to pull itself up. Like it's not gonna get stuck on anything. And it's just a little bit of the C, so I think I'm okay. Okay, got that side. And then the I would just be a little bit, and this I didn't even touch it at all. Okay, so I think that looks really good, actually. Um, all right, so Isaac's is done, and holy cow, this one might not work. But let's transfer this one as well. Um, what? So when I said reuse the transfer tape, <laughs> You gotta make sure you put it in a place that you can reuse it. <laughs> All right. Oh. So, and I do burnish on both sides. I don't know if it makes a difference, but since I've always done it, I haven't experimented. <laughs> All right, so here goes this one. Um, and with these, because there's a keyhole up front, I mean, there is a, you know, like basically a, a top and bottom. Okay, so this one, actually this one is good. I did make this a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't go all the way to the edge. And I really like the way this looks. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so it looks really, really good. All right, so now we're gonna paint the back. Well, actually, we're going to put I'm gonna put the tennis sign on the back here. So here is my tennis vinyl. Um, oh my God, I did it again. Okay, here, here's my transfer tape. Let's get it on one of these. All right, so here's the back of the, I'm gonna put it back here. And because of the keyhole right there, I'm going to need to put this on the side some like this. All right, so here's my tennis ball. Okay, save it for next time. So you saw I use the same one for all three transfers. Okay. I'm gonna do something that I do not recommend you doing, but I'm gonna be painting, dipping my paint brush in directly into my paint. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this. I always kind of have this as my um, dryer little thing. Okay, so I'm gonna dip this one 
And I like to use a lot of paint because otherwise you're gonna be able to see your paint strokes. So you don't want that. I kind of want it just to look like there's paint on the back, but you can't tell where my where my paintbrush started or ended. And you you only have a few minutes to do this because what happens is once you um, start going and you think you can fix it, you can't because it dries a little bit and it'll capture your paint strokes. So, um, and how do I know this? From experience, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't make that mistake? So I'm just gonna dip a little bit more and make sure. Now, because I did the, the monogram all the way, almost all the way to the edge, I don't have the option of not painting to the edge, whereas for my wedding acrylic signs, because the lettering is kind of like centered, um, I don't paint all the way to the edge. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see, and I need to paint up here a little bit because it looks a little weird. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around for you to see. And that looks so good. There's a little hole for the paint. I'm gonna paint a little bit to the edge over here. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it over so you can see it. I really, really like the white look. So this is the other one that I did. So okay, this one I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna let it dry. And I'm going to just basically wipe off the white a little bit. And I'm gonna use the green on the other one. Okay, so let me move this out of the way before I knock it over. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna dip into my green. I'm doing a different green this time. I thought I was being cool with like a yellow green look, but I really just don't like the way that looks. All right, so here's my green. I'm going with a really light green this time. And I'm gonna paint in the back, so. I'm gonna turn it over really quickly. All right, I definitely like that a little bit more. So here we go. And again, on this one, with the name going all the way to the edge, I'm gonna want the paint all, all over so that the, the, um, the adhesive vinyl really stands out. I did metallic vinyl from Cricut, and I know a lot of people have problems cutting that. Um, I would recommend, so my new thing, and it's not so new, but I wasn't so consistent about doing it this way, is I have different blades for different materials. And what's good about that is originally I thought, oh, what a pain in the butt. Like, I'm always changing my blades anyway because I cut a lot of glitter cardstock because, you know, I do my off the mat projects and I just use glitter cardstock a lot for everything, for cake toppers, banners, all of that. So... I do go through my blades a lot faster than some of you guys may. And so I thought, well, what's the big deal? Like, you know, with my vinyl, it's going to get, I'm changing out my blades anyway. But, you know, you never know when you're cutting your vinyl, like towards the end of your blade uh, life, uh, life cycle or, you know, at the beginning. So now, um, because I change out my blades, I have one specific for vinyl. It's really, it's, it's, it's always good, right? Because it doesn't dull your blade as quickly as the glitter cardstock. So I feel like I haven't had any issues cutting with my vinyl because my blade is always nice and sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. Okay, I definitely like the way this looks. It's light, it's pastelish, but <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go all the way to the edge. Here. And then we'll be done. Um, so yeah, so I do, I, I do like that. I've been doing it for just a little bit and I feel like that's a practice that I'm going to be incorporating. So, okay, I'm going to put this down, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. I definitely like it. So, okay. So you could do so many different things with this. Um, I love, I would do it smaller so it doesn't go to the edge, but I love the scripty letters with the paint. It just looks really nice, and I would totally put it on my purse. Um, and you could do sayings, funny things, or pictures, whatever. All right, I will see you next time. Let me know if this was something that you like to see. I'm wiping off the paint. Um, yeah, so feedback is always great, even if it's 
you know, not something that I might want to hear, but then it saves me from going down the wrong path. So if this isn't something that you want to see, let me know. And then also, um, let me know what you want to see. And if you have any special requests, I'm here to, you know, help you out with your project and you have to still do it yourself anyway, because I can't share it. So you have to recreate it, which means you're learning. And so we're both, you know, getting what we want. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.